Virtual reality is a fascinating way to travel using nothing more than the power of technology. With a headset and motion tracking, VR lets you look around a virtual space as if you're actually there, or play a game as though you're in it. VR's been gaining a lot of traction in recent years, thanks to compelling games and experiences, though it's still in a state of flux, with headsets coming and going fairly rapidly. We're tracking the best of what's currently on the market here. Today, I'm going to show you the top five best budget 3D VR smart glasses of 2023. Before the video begins, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to the AC Technology channel. Now, let's begin. Number five, MetaQuest 2. The MetaQuest 2 has everything you need in a VR headset while remaining relatively affordable. Starting at $399, you get a massive library of immersive VR games, streaming apps to put you in your own theater, and a surprising amount of educational content for students of all ages to learn in an enrapturing fresh format. It does all of this as a standalone device that doesn't require a phone or PC. But if you have a gaming PC or laptop, you can connect it with a link cable and access thousands more PC VR experiences. The MetaQuest 2 offers crisp visuals and minimal screen door effect while warding off motion sickness thanks to its high resolution and 90 to 120 hertz refresh rate. Since it runs without cables, you can use it anywhere and its built-in camera warns you when you're getting close to any obstacles in your environment. The controllers also have better haptic feedback than the originals, with a larger design for extra thumb space. Only people with smaller hands may find them harder to hold. Number 4. PlayStation VR If you own a PS5 or PS4, the PlayStation VR is the go-to choice and one of the only options for console virtual reality. Released back in 2016, it's no longer sold as a standalone device but you can still pick it up as a bundle with one or more PSVR games for a surprisingly budget-friendly price. This option has modest specs compared to other headsets today. The visuals aren't the crispest, though you get smooth gameplay and a library composed of some of the best VR experiences out there. With that in mind, if you don't mind waiting a little bit longer, the PSVR 2 is expected to launch early next year. The PSVR doesn't boast room-scale tracking, but it does give you full motion tracking through its combination of headset, motion controllers, and visual tracking through the PlayStation camera, which needs a free adapter for the PS5. Though that camera has a limited viewing angle and the motion tracking can be a bit flaky, with a resolution of 960 by 1080 per eye and a 96 degree field of view, there's more to be desired visually but games still feel smooth and lifelike thanks to its 120Hz peak refresh rate. The headset is also surprisingly comfortable despite its larger size, but just be prepared to deal with tons of wires. But if you're a PlayStation fan and have a VR itch that just can't wait to be scratched, the PSVR is an excellent choice. Number 3. Nintendo Labo Toy-Con 4 Rumors of a VR solution for the Nintendo Switch are older than the console itself, but that didn't stop the Nintendo Labo Toy-Con 4 from being a surprise when it came out in 2019. Depending on the kit you get, this cardboard-crafted headset allows users to create several different playful headsets, including a blaster, camera, bird, and even an elephant that lets you use its trunk to reach into VR. Each headset is related to an experience, making them even more immersive and sure to please kids, and kids at heart. Since the Nintendo Labo VR kit is constructed of sturdy cardboard with a pair of plastic lenses that uses the Switch for its screen, you'll need to set your expectations accordingly. There's no fancy tech, so you only get the resolution and refresh rate on offer with the Switch, meaning individual pixels are visible, and actions may not be the smoothest. It also doesn't include any strap, therefore requiring one hand to hold the mask in place, causing fatigue for extended periods of play. Number 2. Atlas Sonics VR Headset The Atlas Sonics VR headset utilizes your smartphone to provide a VR experience, but one-ups the competition in clarity, comfort, and field of view. It also helps that it's not made from cardboard. 
This headset features ample, breathable padding around the eyes and nose, keeping it comfortable on your face, while an adjustable strap helps distribute weight across your head. There's even an eye protection system in place and a pair of sliders on top of the headset that allows you to adjust focal and pupillary distances, preventing strain and dialing in clarity for your eyes. It's simple to get started using the Atlas Sonics, as most phones up to 6.3 inches will slide easily into the padded slot. There's no complicated setup or mess of wires, while the plastic build should hold up pretty well over time. To top off this already high-value package is a Bluetooth controller, so you can easily navigate and interact with VR apps. Number 1. Google Cardboard When cost is a concern, look no further than Google Cardboard. This headset is literally made from cardboard, so while it's not the most comfortable to use, it's cheap. The headset consists of a cardboard frame that holds your phone a pair of lenses, and a magnetic button for some limited interaction inside VR. There's even a cardboard app along with tons of other VR content online to make the most of the immersive viewing experience this headset offers. Google also made the plans for the headset publicly available, so there are many versions from other companies. Some include head straps and interesting designs if cardboard brown isn't your thing. You can even make your own if you're feeling crafty. Like other smartphone headsets, the capabilities of Google Cardboard will depend on how powerful your phone is. It offers a 90-degree field of view, which is reasonably spacious for such an affordable design. It supports both Android and iOS, but you'll need to stick to phones 6 inches or less to fit in the fold-out slot. And you should have no issue putting it together, as it just takes three simple steps. Since the official version of the headset doesn't use a strap or padding around the eyes, it's best suited for shorter viewing sessions. Even with its limitations, it's hard to argue with such a cost-conscious design. Thank you for watching, and please hit the like button, subscribe to the AC Technology channel, and enable post alerts to view more of our future videos. After saying that, keep watching our videos, and I'll speak with you in the next one.